Hi guys, this is Vijay and I hope you are doing well. In this video lecture, I am going to talk about the working principle of Hartnell governor. Okay, it is also called a spring loaded governor and it is a class of centrifugal governor. In previous lecture, uh, we were discuss the working principle of uh, what governor and water governor. So what governor it is a pendulum type governor it is also centrifugal type governor and uh, the modification of what governor it is the uh, Potter governor and Provel governor. Lecture. In this video lecture I am going to talk about the working principle of Hartnell governor it is a spring loaded governor and it is more sensitive governor as compared to Potter governor, what governor and Provel governor. So it consists of two bell crank lever it is a bell crank lever it consists of two bell crank lever this is the horizontal arm of the bell crank lever and it is the vertical arm of the bell crank lever here you can see that the horizontal arm it is connected with the roller and uh, this vertical arm it is connected with the ball so it consists of two bell crank lever the vertical arm of the bell crank lever it is connected with two balls and uh, these horizontal arms are connected with two rollers and this is a sleeve and this sleeve uh, will slide on the surface of spindle here you can see that this frame is mounted with spindle okay and uh, this uh, bell crank lever it is pivoted with the frame the frame is uh, attached to a governor spindle and uh, this frame is also rotated with the spindle. A compression helical spring is provided with downward forces on the two rollers through a collar on the sleeve. The spring force may be adjusted by screwing or unscrewing a nut on the upper end of the sleeve. During working, the compression of the spring varies with a different position of the sleeve, which is regulated by the speed of the rotation of the balls okay so it will work on the principle of centrifugal force and we know that centrifugal force means the mass is away from the centroidal axis okay so whenever the engine speed will be increases so at that time uh, the spindle speed is also increases because we know that the spindle is connected with the uh, uh, bevel gear and this bevel gear is connected with the crankshaft okay so whenever the uh, speed of the engine it will be increases so at that time uh, spindle speed is also increases and uh, centrifugal force is also increases because we know that centrifugal force is uh, proportional to the square of the speed fc equal to m omega square r where m is mass omega means angular velocity its equation is 2 pi n upon 60 and r means radius so uh, due to the increase of speed this flyball is away from centroidal axis and uh, it will compress the spring okay and uh, this sleeve will move upward so at that time uh, this lever will operate the throttle valve and uh, it will uh, slightly uh, close the throttle valve so we can uh, uh, reduce the fuel supply to the IC engine and we can maintain the speed in reverse case whenever the speed of the engine will be decreased due to the uh, load on the engine so at that time uh, centrifugal force will be decreases due to the uh, reduce of the engine speed because of the uh, load of the engine it will be increases so at that time this flyball uh, is uh, near to the central axis and uh, this spring will expand and uh, this sleeve will move downward and uh, this sleeve is connected with the lever operating throttle valve so it will operate the lever and it will supply the more quantity of fuel so we can supply the more fuel to the ic engine and we can maintain the desirable speed so it is the working principle of hartnell governor uh, it is more sensitive as compared to the potter governor and provel governor